India. So let's see how to apply for the visa for China. We have to go into the website, the visa for China, then you'll get the first page where it's being displayed from where you have to select India from that the New Delhi. After selecting, the next page will lead you into the step by step guidance and the quick access. From that page, we just have to select the quick access and the visa one and all the front informations are given from the quick access the visa one then you will enter into the visa page on scrolling down you will get the new application form the new appointment okay then you have to just select the new application form after selecting the new application form you have to just give agree then you will get a uh, application all the 10 sections the information is given you have to select new delhi from which center you want so new delhi we are going to select and then we'll start a new application form selecting that we will select that and then slide to verify after you slide it the verification process will start and then it will lead you into the next page the next page is uh, you will get your application for a number right on the top it's better you just save it for further purpose then you can download the application the first session is your uh, personal information all your family name the given name and all that the second section will be about your visa details whether the entity is single or double or multiple the service whether you want a normal service or the express one express one you have to pay a little extra it depends upon you and the third one is about your work information and particularly in the second one when you type for the visa you're going to select the student visa which is the x1 visa so x1 study visa is particularly for the students so we will select that one after that the next page will lead you to the third one where it is about the work information and all that the section 4 is about your education so on education purpose it will just ask your language skills where, where you can write the good in chinese good in english and all that then all your information institute information the, your college information, your degree, the MBBS or whatever. Then after that, the fourth section is totally about your education. You can just fill it. The fifth one is about your family information, where your father's detail, your mother's detail and all your family members thing, their father's uh, phone number, your mobile, uh, mother's email address and all that uh, information will be asked where you can just fill in. Uh, They'll also ask like whether your father is in China or mother is in China. You can just apply no, if not. Then all those can be applied and just written properly according to their identity cards with no errors. The phone numbers, uh, the phone number should be provided with anything that is going to be 24 by 7 available. And next, do you have any immediate relatives not including parents in China? If no, it's no. In case if you have any, you can just put S. The application number, it's better for you to save it. Then the sixth one is about your travel information. The date you're going to arrive there, then the date you're leaving here and all that. The city where you're going to arrive, whether it's mostly probably Chengdu or Chongqing or whatever it is, any part of China then the, all the address of your college and all that the emergency contact number your family members contact whether your father's or mother's anybody's contact which is going to be available then the payment whether you're doing it yourself or the organization is doing it then the foreign sponsor then the numbers the country or the region from where you're coming the postal code all these can be filled then after that in the section all these section you can either preview the section or just save and go to the next one then the sixth one is about the arrival date and all that then the seventh one is about like whether you have been in china for the past three years we have not been for past three years we never went to china because of all the covid conditions so it's no then if you have if you have the previous visa we all have previous visas right so it's going to be yes and after selecting yes you have to type the visa that you had which is again x1 which is for the student purpose and the the recent one the last visa that you got stamped those visa informations are supposed to be filled in that the number of visas the place of insurance from where you got that and the date of insurance 
and after filling all this either you can just review the section once uh, it will ask you whether go back otherwise you can just save and go to the next section like the 8th or 9th or 10th one after providing all the information typically which is there in your visa page just make sure like all the numbers are very correct and accurate check two or three times which is better because if any problems are made and it's again going to be a big issue so it's better to write everything properly according to the document then the eighth one is about the other informations whether uh, whether your passport has been lost or whether any theft has been or something like that whether you have replaced or some all those informations will be asked do you have any serious mental disorders or infections or whether you have been to any territories where uh, epidemic was there whether like they mean whether any covid places you have been or not and all that probably it's going to be all no so we are going to select everything no have any participated in all that okay everything is going to be no and then moving on to the ninth section which is the mailing information mailing information is about like whether you wanted to get it from the visa office itself from the delhi or whether you want it by the post i think it's better to wait there and get your visa and go than sending it by the mail or like sending it by your post which is going to be risky again so being on the safer side it's better to take it right from the center so otherwise it, it to totally depends upon you there's no issue the tenth one is declaration you're just telling like okay this is whether for your personal application or you're whether applying for somebody else so it's going to be a personal application then after that you're going to declare like you know you have understood all the process and all the application form you have understood totally and that is what it's going to be about so once again checking everything checking all your informations you can just save and just proceed and you will get a pdf where you can just download and see so after continuing then again you can go to a first page the main menu page from where you will get the application thing like uh, the date that you can schedule okay your appointment can be scheduled so you will have a make appointment where the location of submission and all that so you can type your passport number if you have already made you can't make an appointment again see your schedules can be there for november december it's available all the blue ones are available once you can select the date accordingly like whichever is convenient for you the time the date and everything is mentioned mondays are probably when you go you can directly get your visas so otherwise you can either schedule it for scheduling you can go to the main page and do that the time is given from 9 to 10 10 to 11 whichever time you're comfortable you can just select your timing right from your uh, application and do it beforehand so which is going to be better whatever is convenient is better okay so after finishing all that you can just download your thing and it's all done and the process has been ended and it's going to be a great start and thank you everybody